Hello everyone, welcome back. Exciting developments today. We've got some new bats, haven't we, mate? Yeah, yeah. So in today's session, we've just done a bit of a top-end gapping session, which I'll talk you through um, in the first part of the video. We'll do a bit of a what's in the bag, show you these shiny new bats that Mark's got, and we'll carry on from the swing stuff that we were doing with the plane mate last week. So let's get into it. Okay. <laughs> So right at the start of the session, we went onto the main studio, got on the flight scope, uh, just did a bit of a top end gapping session. So as you can see here, there are a few different clubs that we trialed. We found that a couple of clubs had a very similar distance. So we were able to make an informed decision on which clubs to keep in and which clubs to not use. Now I'm going to pass you back over to a lovely young man called Jack Lee and we'll talk you through Mark's new bag. These look very shiny. Do you want to talk us through it then? I know we discussed this briefly last week that you were going to get some new clubs, but... The wedges are still the same as they were, but the difference in because the results of the fitting have been plugged by an inch. Yep, so an inch yeah. longer with them. Yeah, so make them fit. Then we've gone split set, so we've got the pitching wedge, the 9-iron and the Strixons, the 7-8-5s. Mm -hmm. Then we go 7-4 and 5 8 five, just give a bit more help. Got you. Top end of the bag's not the same, so... Yeah. five would drive and run something new anyway, so... But yeah, obviously these are going to answer all the problems. Yeah, this is just going to fix everything, isn't it? Yeah. I know that we had blades before, and it was blades all the way up to a four iron, weren't it? Blades all the way up to four, yeah. Which so, is a scary proposition, that, isn't it? So I was a little bit apprehensive because I've been used to looking at that profile for so long, but these blend it very well. They're not too dissimilar, and just the results of playing them for a couple of days since I've had them have been better. Very good. I just noticed we did a little bit of a gapping session. It definitely seems as though you're striking four and five irons a lot easier than what you were yeah, beforehand. Yeah. There's no apprehension now like before we've got four irons and thinking, yeah, I know I can do it, but can I do it today? Yeah. These just... You can be slightly off and still be okay with them, can't yeah. you? Yeah. Uh, Specs-wise, so we've gone an inch longer, haven't we? Yes. Uh, anything else? A little bit more upright? They're one degree upright to make you stand a bit higher to it, and they're a Modus 120 stiff flex Very with, nice. a, with a tip in it. Sure, all the shaft hoods will love all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. So, oh, it's good. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm excited to see these because I think, you know, as much as, as with like to all want to use blades and stuff i've been in a position myself where i've had a set of blades before and i couldn't use yeah. i couldn't use four five like you said it's like yeah in my mind i can hit them but when you stood down looking at that absolute button now you think well that's like the conversation we just had down there i would always this is why i should brought in but i would float between that and the four iron depending on how i was swinging on the the time mm -hmm. but i just think that shaft is just too soft because we've, as we've proved there it just goes left and the head composition of a hybrid as well because of where the, like the weighting is with all of them and the upright nature of a hybrid head is that yeah, everyone wants to hit them further left than they do right so so for half of people they're really good and half of people they're a bit useless really so it's good at the time i got it it brought me on but i think you know, things evolve things move don't they yeah so these are the, this is a new idea beautiful yeah I love the shininess as well. You can't beat a set of new bats when they're glistening yeah. like this, can you? Yeah, I don't know <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's get Mizuno's out of the car and crack on with them again. Interesting how it changed your start direction on that one, isn't it? How it started to get straight instead of that. Good well striking that one that time. Lift. That's good. Beautiful. That was a dog shot, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I think just this new real improvised uh, new drill that we've got is just going to eradicate that you know the one where you get and just flip it inside. I'm quite 
working on that one. But... Mm -hmm. Drop it in, still the feeling to move that path into. That's good. We had reps in here all day. Yeah. You get what I mean? Yeah, it'd be good if we get some in. That's it. Yeah, really nice. Best for me, Dave, that. That's my new floor now, too. Mm -hmm. It's always been an underrated brand. It was always. Because I've done them at Messing, I was always interested to test them. Mm -hmm. Lovely. That was good, that. The last couple of them were really good. That might be a thing for you, that the Peter Feet like takeaway mm -hmm. kind of thing. <coughs> it's a drill, it's a definite driving range one, that. Just hinge it a bit more next time, you know, instead of pushing it, you feel though it's more of a hinge that way. So wicked that. Oh. Yeah, of course. Do a good job of striking them. It's tricky when you put a quality drill in like this to maintain your strike, but... And it's always hard for the people as well, but it's more about the way that you move instead of the immediate results out there, so... It's good this. Oh, well, that's not. <laughs> So just as you've done in that instance there though, this is like the progression now. So that drill that we've started using today is helping you with the backswing feelings that we want you to have in regards to club staying more outside the hands. Way that you did it of it in three with the drill, three without, that's when you have a driving range session now, that's way that you, you blend it in. Lovely, great shot. I'm going to tell the people about the last few rounds that we've had as well. I know club championship were a bit tricky because that were like first round was straight off the, f the freshness of the swing change, weren't yeah, it? Yeah, I was... I remember this one. Eight over. Mm -hmm. Handicap on the first round. We've got level handicap on the second round, so then you finished overall 10. Good. Good. And you've had a couple of nine all since where we've played pretty well? Yes, 20 points first nine out with them and then 18 points. <laughs> Second time playing with them, so we'll see what tomorrow brings first. Beautiful. First round of the Summer Cup tomorrow, so. Oh, what's that? Is that like an eclectic competition, or...? Yeah, but well, best, best three scores out of however many rounds we played. Sweet. So we'll see how it goes. Very good. I've managed to maintain through all these changes handicap, but now we're looking for a couple of reductions. Yeah.